This may be the final season Cleveland will be known as the Indians. The team made the announcement at the end of 2020 after holding talks with fans, players, Native American groups, and researchers. While the team will continue to use the name in the interim, a handful of demonstrators still gathered today outside the ballpark, fighting for the name to be gone now. News 5's Clay Lepard was there. For 51 seasons, Native Americans and members of the Cleveland American Indian Movement gather outside the ballpark, asking the Cleveland Indians to change its name. I don't see how the chief or the name is honoring us when you look at what reality is for indigenous people in this country. However, this year could possibly be the last year the group will demonstrate outside, as one of baseball's oldest team names is about to change, after the Cleveland Indians announced last December that it would drop its team name. Over the course of some years, we've heard that the team name was going to change more than one time, so we'll believe it when we see it. It's time to move forward. Indians manager Terry Francona voiced his support for a name change last summer when the team announced it was exploring the idea. Less than a week ago, the team took more steps in the transition, announcing fans would no longer be allowed to wear headdresses or face paint styled in a way that references or appropriates Native American cultures and traditions. Three years ago, the team announced it would phase out Chief Wahoo. However, merchandise with his face is still sold inside the team store. A team spokesperson said they still plan to sell items with Chief Wahoo's face and the Indian's name for historical purposes. However, the plan moving forward is for these items, the proceeds from them, to go towards Native American organizations and programs. An idea that the team says does not have a set start date or specific groups in mind. We would like to be part of that community, but until that change is made, we're not doing anything but contributing money to those people who continue to exploit us. The team said it's still working through the complex process of changing the team name, so we do not know when the team will change its name, whether after this season or sometime after. We're going to be out here uh, at every opening day until they actually make the change. In Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5.